Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video, we've seen how to fill in the table data gaps uh, for, for a table like, like this example here. And in that video, I covered the reasons why we would want to do that. So, and, and you know, I explained there are different ways to do it in Excel, but if we have a large table, we, we rather do it with, uh, with macros. So in this video, we're gonna do the same but using the special cells property, and we will use just one loop, and we will also use the offset property. So that's, despite it's exactly the same example, it's a different way of doing it, and I believe you can learn something from, from it. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor, and we will say fill gaps, and as I say here, we're gonna need only one loop. So for each cell in selection, or we can use current region. Uh, let's say we have a large table and we don't want to keep selecting, you know, over hundreds of rows. So we would use rather um, current region. So for range A1 dot current region, and that would take the region with data um, around A1. So it would actually take this same selection. Let me, let me, let me show you. Let me show you. So if we take range A current region and we select, and I, and I play this macro, it's just, just, uh, to show you, it selects the whole range with data, okay? So that's what we're gonna select and we're gonna loop for each cell in that, in that range, okay? And now, and of course, we need to declare the variable, so and the cell is a range variable. Okay, and now we can do this in different ways. So we could actually have a condition here saying if the the value of the cell, so the cell value is empty, right? We, we could add um, the value, but we're gonna use the special cells. So we will save some coding actually. So let me show you that. Here for each cell in our range, so this is gonna select this range. Now we use the special cells um, property here, so a special cells, and you see when I open the parentheses, it gives me the different options for special cells here. And we're gonna use just uh, the type blanks. So we only gonna loop through the blank cells, so th through the gaps. We, we're not interested about the, the other, we just want to fill the, the, the blanks, right? So I select Excel cell type blanks, and I close the parentheses here, and let me just move to the left so you can see everything. So this is now a little long, but this is doing the job. So now we just need to um, say that the value of the cell is gonna be, and now we're gonna use the offset property. So it's gonna be the offset from our cell by minus one row, so you see the row offset, and a zero for the column offset, because it's gonna be in the same column. That's gonna be the value above. We want to fill each blank with the value above. And this is the value. And then we move to the next cell. So we are using a for each loop, then we are using the current region to get the whole table, uh, we are using the special cells property to focus only on the blanks, and then we use the offset to get the value from above. That's it. So let me show you how that works. Here you go. So it fills the gaps, and in this example, we've used the special cells and the offset property to do that. So that's how we fill in the table data gaps in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.